What up, what up? Wimbush here, and sorry I haven't been around in a while. I've been real busy with work, but I wanted to get this quick tip out to you because Nikki Hoy 79 asked me how with the new Unreal version of 4.24, how we bring our Cinema 4D data into it, because if you see here on my top bar here, we no longer have the Data Smith button on here, and that's because with the latest version of Unreal, they actually implemented all the studio stuff inside of Unreal. So no longer do we have to download the Datasmith plugin separately. It's all integrated right into Unreal. And so how we get to it is we have to come up to settings and then come down to plugins. And then let me drag this over. So now we have our plugin screen here. And if we go to our search window and type in C4D, you can see that we actually have the Datasmith Cinema 4D importer here. And that you can see it's in, um, it's not enabled, so we have to actually turn that on. And actually, let me let me do a search for Datasmith, because you can see here, basically none of the Datasmith stuff is enabled right off the bat. And so we have to go and enable it. And once we hit enable, it's gonna tell you that the version is still in beta. You just click yes. And then down here, at the very bottom, it says restart now. Let's see if I could drag this up so you can see it. There we go, it says restart now. So you just restart your Cinema 4D. It's gonna restart, or not Cinema 4D, sorry. It's gonna restart the Unreal Engine. And once it pops up, we should have our Datasmith button up top there. So let me close this window out. And there we go. Now we have the Datasmith button. It no longer has a Cinema 4D icon, so we can just click on this and then find a file that we want to bring in. So let's say for my last tutorial I did with Pixel Labs. Let's bring in the building that I created with them. So now you should be able to import that fairly quickly. And there we go. Now we have our Cinema 4D object that I brought in from Cinema 4D into Unreal version 4.24. So I just wanted to share that quick tip on how you can find that. I might do another video on how you can enable it permanently. Like if you if you um, close out Unreal and then you start a new project, you're gonna have to go through that process again. And so there is a way that you can kind of go into like a text document and enable it that permanently, but I'll make that for a separate video. But for this quick tip, hopefully this helped you guys out. Get started in Unreal version 4.24. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe to my channel and keep creating. Take care.